Trying to shake it off. Trying to shake it off. Looks like one. Ah, uh, come on, Charles. Some of us want to fish. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You, you want to feel them? <laughs> I only like catching the little ones because they, they you can fit more of them in the cooler. You hold your hands right up to the computer screen. You can actually that feel it. Feel it. Feel it. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Texas All Water Fishing. I just had a hook go on my leg. Hey everybody, what is up? What's going on? Ruben here with Texas Water Fishing. Thanks for clicking on this video. Now I'm getting my stuff ready and together for tomorrow. Strip and well, I thought I decided, well, I thought and decided I would show with you uh, kind of what I'm going to be fishing with and uh, kind of what's going on tomorrow now. In the morning, I'm going to meet up with Captain Charles, myself, and Laddie. We're going to go and do a little fishing. Um, a lot of times what we typically do is get live bait and I will throw lures sometimes out on the water but you know we kind of have the odds stacked against us a little bit the, the we've had a little bit of rain uh probably the water's gonna be a little silty it was a little windy I'm pretty much guessing that it's gonna be a bit of a struggle bite so great opportunity to fish with live bait or fish with dead bait in this case we're going with live and uh, i'm gonna be fishing with a cork it's a voodoo cork now you can use all kind of corks any corks of your preference um the reason why i do like voodoo cork is because they have this hard wire and then also the beads it has really nice big beads on it so great to use with artificial but in this case i'm going to be using mine great to use with artificial but in this case i'm going to be using mine with a live shrimp like i said so my main line is going to be braided line so i had a patreon show me this if you put a little bit of fluorocarbon or even mono uh leader line between your main line and your cord that's going to help you not tangle up as much especially when you're casting so i have like 40 pounds of fluorocarbon line in probably six to eight inches and then i have a swivel right here and then I attach that to my main line and then the other end obviously isn't attached to my cork and then on my cork I like to use a nice real long leader line and you can see right here it's probably about 28 inches and uh, I'd like to make my leader line lighter than my main line and lighter than the line that I have connecting to my cork to my main line the reason for that is because you know, I throw around a lot of rocks. I'll fish a lot around a lot around a, a lot around a lot of structure, and uh, I want to be able to break off if I do get hung up and keep my cork. So where I'll just probably just like lose my hook. So my my leader line for my hook that attaches to my cork is probably it's, it's only it's full of carbon, but it's only 20, 20 pounds. So that's gonna break pretty easy if I do um, get hung up. Uh, the only downside is if I do get into a big fish, I just have to let them run a little bit and I can't really force it um, if I do get into like a big red. And then the other the other downside again is because of fishing around rocks or structure is that or even oyster with having such a long leader line, it will get hung up and get nicked. So you do have to uh, occasionally just like run your fingernail through your leader line and if you feel the nick, which I do, I feel a nick right here. So right there. So I'm going to have to cut this off and then retie my hook. And 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 in this case, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be kind of more or less targeting um, trout. So I want a speckled trout. So I do have a, a kale hook on here. And this is a one-size kale hook, uh, inexpensive kale hook, um, H2O Express from Academy. And then I'll put probably like anywhere from a foot to eight inches i'll put like a little small split shot and that's going to kind of help keep my my shrimp down a little bit in the in the area i want now people are gonna be like oh my gosh it's 28 inch leader line that's that's pretty pretty long and yeah it is uh sometimes i'll get i'll get rid of the split shot and kind of just let the the shrimp kind of free line if we are fishing in more shallow water but um i'm thinking because tomorrow i might even have to go longer than this the leader line because tomorrow uh, a lot of times, uh, this, if we do get in like some deeper holes, the fresh water uh, concentrates more to the top of uh, the water column, and then this, it gets a little saltier. The water does because it's a little heavier, salt water a little heavier, so it kind of goes down more to the bottom. So if that's the case, what we do, I might just forego this cork altogether and just go with like a split shot. But this is like the easiest way right here. Fishing with the cork live shrimp, easiest way to fish, 
hands down, easiest way to fish. Great way to go out and fish with the kiddos. Uh, great way to go fish around structure. I mean, like I said, using 20 pound leader line and it's gonna break off pretty easy for you especially if you to tie your knots real good and you're gonna hang on to your cork and just lose your hook so it's a great way to fish around structure i love fishing this way like super easy way to fish uh, i enjoy it like daylight tomorrow or i know the odds are stacked against us and i just want to go catch some fish and rip some lip and then you can get all kind of species on live shrimp you can get uh, right now we are seeing speckled trout black drum some sheepies and uh you know, if I'm targeting sheep heads, I wouldn't necessarily use this kind of hook. But like I said, I'm looking for some trout. Reds, this is a decent hook to use for reds too. Um, but like I said, there's all kind of uh, speckled trout, sheep head, uh, flounder, anything and everything is going to hit that uh, hit the um, hit the live shrimp. So hey, enough about what I'm using. Let's go out there and let's go catch some fish. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Sorry for the long intro, but I did want to give everybody a heads up because I know a lot of times I'll get in the water and, uh, and I won't really talk about what's what I'm using because I'm too busy enjoying myself. So uh, yeah, cork, voodoo cork, excellent cork to go with. You also have woody corks, great go cork to go with. Four horseman cork, out another outstanding cork. Um, but I'm going with the... Uh, with the company that supports me so um always going with the food but hey thanks guys um stay tuned hopefully you're gonna catch us hooking up so what's the what's the uh what's the what i didn't say agenda what's the plan what's the plan for this morning fine fish fine fish laddie that catch way fish. no bananas no bananas catch fish with a lucky hat with a lucky hat all right no unlucky fruit. There's lucky hats today. I have to make up for the banana incident. It feels windy. Did you see the video? <laughs> it's been a long time since I made a video with one fish, but I did it anyway. Did you really? I need to watch it. Yeah, I watched it. A one fish video. I need to watch it. Was it? It was non-stop action. Somebody's taking it. Come on. He got it. Look, he's swimming with it. Uh -oh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep uh -oh. going. Got him. <laughs> Little baby. Little baby trout. Is that a trout? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he came oh. off. It looked like a trout. That's all I yep. saw. Yeah. It was a small trout. That's good. It's supposed to rain oh. today? There you go. Charles? Yeah, I felt the bite. Charles. Charles. I was Charles looking over and I felt the rod, the rod hit. The rod moved on you? Like another trout? I think it's a big, big one, but it's a trout. You the net? No. I guess I should get the net out of yeah, Oh, that's a nice one. Here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a keeper. Yeah. Never mind. Wow. Never mind, that's a keeper. Mine was bigger than that. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, Chuckster. There you go. There you go. Another trout. Oh, drum. There you go. There it is. Waiting on that one to come by. Oh, flounder. Nope. Puppy drum. Nope. Sheephead. Nope. Small red. <laughs> it's a small red. My little, little baby, baby red. Baby oh. red. All right, let's go get his big brother now.
You got him? There you go. Here you go. Looks like a hoodoo. Oh, oh it's a flounder. Flounder. Look at that baby flounder. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so oh cute. My Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's a red. Woo, he hammered that. Woo, that's a red. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's running. Oh, oh, oh. He's taking off. Uh, he hammered it. Watch your line. He's going it. Oh no, it's not a red. Is that a gaff top? Uh, probably. Uh, it's a gaff top. Woo! No, it's not. That's oh, it's a black drum. It's a black drum. When its head came up, I thought it was. Well, I saw the tail, and that's what I thought it was a gaff top too. It's a good one. Yeah. Keeper. Keeper. Ooh, two keepers on the boat. I told you we wouldn't get a fishy. He's more like 20. I told you we wouldn't get a fishy, baby boy. So he is 18. Oh, nope. He is 19 and a half. 19 three quarters. 19 three quarters, and he weighs four pounds. Four pounds. At 19, yeah, that's about right. Nice little guy. I'm going to put him. With his bed, his buddy. He got a roommate now. He ain't by himself no more. Uh oh! Somebody got you, laddie. Yeah, Somebody got you, laddie. Set your hook. Set your hook. Set your hook. Oh, there you go! We got a screamer. There you go, laddie. There we go. We got a screamer. All right, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little excited now. Yeah, laddie. Laddie got a good one. Another drum. He nailed it. Yep. yep, another drum. We found the drums. We nailed it. Bring them up. Oh, boy, I feel like a nice. Woo! <laughs> Gotta keep. Sweet. Yeah, Woo! good job. Okay, let's see. I'll tell you what. See where he's, how long he every is. Every time y'all cross me or go next to the <laughs> 17 okay, inches. 17. Woo! Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. There we go. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's a red. I hope so. I keep saying that. <clears throat> no, he's going side to side too much. I don't think it's a red. I can't believe that. It's only like a foot deep. Uh, that's a red? Small one, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I can't see it. I'm just saying. It looks like it's close to a 19. I wanted a red baby and I got that's, one. That's a, that's a keeper. With some nice spots. Right on! That's what I'm talking about. Charlie! Yes, sir. That's about 20. Off the 20 reef, half. baby. No. Oh, look at him. He's 20 and a quarter. Nose, 20 and a quarter. Yep, that's a keeper. You know how much does he weigh? 20 and a quarter, and he's in a way. Almost four. Almost four. four. Just missed four. All right. Nice. Two spots on each side. Nice guy. Ah, uh, come on, Charles. Some of us want to fish. <laughs> there you go. Buddy. You, you want to feel them? <laughs> I only like catching the little ones because they, they you can fit more of them in the cooler. You hold your hands right up to the computer screen. You can actually that feel it. <laughs> feel it. Feel it. I think he made the overslide. Yeah, he, now, he, now he's, he had me thinking that he was probably mid, but hopefully he stays under. That yeah. way he can keep him. Get away from the motor. That's a big one. It's a big one. Yeah, that's overslot. Yeah. He gone. You told him to get away. He got away. Right on, man. Well, now you're gonna start over. I know. <laughs> it just got interesting again. Come on, Charles. Dang it. He gone. <laughs> He's gone. Hey, they'd be 
usually give up by now. Yeah. He's a monster. He saw that trolling motor and said bye. That vibration. Don't like force you, him. You saw my back. I don't I didn't have a hump on it like a big ugly. No, nah, that is a rip. That's a rip! Nice! It's a big one. It's a big one. I know, I saw its head. 28, 30 incher. Woo! That's a big one. Now, we were out here in kayak. We were out here in kayak and caught a bull red in one day. The 37, I think. I try, to, I try to get these in as fast as I can so I can let them go. But. Well, not do you just have to revive them. Just take it would just take a while for them to bounce back. There he is, the big red. Come on, Charles. Going back to the back again. He got off? Yes. No, no way. Yeah, my whole line just broke. Oh, oh no. There it is. Yeah, he just Dang he, it. came right up oh. right there and spit it out. Oh. Try to move this out of the way and then your line popped. Dang it. Uh, I don't know if I let, let some slack on it. to Charles over here at the cleaning station and apparently Charles already cleaned three fish when I pulled up <laughs> so let me see what Charles cleaned over here Charles that's the ribeye of the bay the ribeye this is what Charles calls the ribeye of the bay right here there nice and clean fillet I can see through them Charles you got it you got all the meat off that one look at that Charles fish ID please somebody needs to tell Charles those aren't the kind of catfish you want to eat <clears throat> well not the kind I want to eat ribeye of the bay according to mr. Charles You're missing out, buddy. but hey thanks for watching went out today with Captain Charles laddie his contact information is below in case you do want to book a trip you know, we had the, the odds kind of stacked against us. We had a lot of fresh water that's entered our bays and bayous recently with a lot of rain. Uh, the water was pretty silty. The water tide has been very low. And then it was kind of high, kind of decent. And now it's going back out and it's a, it's a little low again. So that constant fluctuation of tide, um, a low pressure system hanging right overhead and a lot of silt in fresh water. So we had our odds against us today. But we still managed a few. Uh, had a good time. And it was always fun fishing with Laddie and fishing with Charles. But like I said, if you do want to book a trip with them today, go ahead and click on the link in the description section of the video. Yeah, all Charles' information is down there as well as Laddie. As well as Laddie, if you are in need of a pet emergency room, um, she has a um, an ER for animals in the Pearland area. So if you're in need of that, her information is below as well. But thanks again. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time. Hope you catch me hooking up. And I hope Charles doesn't clean any more hardheads. Is that how you clean a hardhead, Charles? You clean it the same way? Yeah. With your bubble blade? Yeah. I clean them like I clean my trout. Oh, your trout. Okay. Same Dude. technique.
Yeah, they're too. They're too. Do you soft have shell? Do you have shell them? Do you do like on the grill? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. That 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 skin they got's pretty thick. Oh, okay. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> I've never been that hungry. 